Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can change the launcher on your Android boxes to two different ones in 2021. Yes, we thought why not we just make a video on showing you how you can change your launcher very easily. The box that I'm using today is a XPL 3000 which is now almost six years old. So let's go through and change the launcher to make it and give it a new look in this way you're going to still like your box. How is it possible? I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, it's time. Click to click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all, in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these types of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. First, make sure that you are logged in to Google Play Store. In this case, I'm just going to go to apps and I will launch Google Play Store. Now, once it comes up, make sure you are up to date. You can go to this three little lines and you can go to my apps and games. This way it shows whatever is not up to date. You can click on it and update it. That's how easy it is to process or it says update all. Let that happen. Let's go through update everything. And once it's all up to date, go back. And then on the search, we're going to search first for Nova Launcher. That is one of my favorite launchers that I always like to play with. So click on it and there you go. Click on install. Now that's the first thing that you need to install, but we're not done yet. We will press back while this is installing. Let's go through and get another one called ATV. Now these are one of my favorite launchers. So let's go to this one very very clean and very slick i know there's a pro version you can buy it. it's about four bucks but i'm going to get the free version yes they do have a free version and once you get that too let it install we're not done yet we will go back and now we need to look for a live screen now in the previous videos i always like to get there one that is called day and night and that's the one i'm going to look for and now you can scroll up till you find it. It looks something like this. But let's see if we can really find it. The one that we have before right here. So it's called Dream Night Free Life Wallpaper. But again, it, they renamed it before it was day and night. So let's click on it and let's click on install. I really love this background picture. So we're not done yet too. We will press home. All right, so once you download the boat launchers and we also got the live wallpaper, let's go through and set it up. So for that, we will go to apps and the first thing that we're going to launch is going to be Nova Launcher. So it's very easy to just go through it. As soon as it comes up, this is what you should see. So it does tell you if you want to set it up right now, we will just say next. And then it says if you want to see a dark mode or light mode, we're just going to leave it as is. We're going to click next. And then we're going to say apply. Now it just goes through to apply. And once we launch it for the very first time, this is how everything looks. So yes, you have this little bubble over here because it shows what's inside of it. But we already have it outside, so we do not need it. Let's remove that for the meantime. And if you hold for a couple of seconds the OK button using your air mouse remote, you will be presented with wallpaper and then widget and settings. So if you want to go to settings for the meantime, you have a bunch more options in the free version and that we can take advantage of it. But you can change it to the pro version and you get more accesses. So for the meantime, we just going to leave this alone and we will go back and we just have to launch it back. This box itself does not like any other launcher except their own. So that's why as soon as you press home, it doesn't give you access to have a different launcher. But you can go to it and you can launch Nova Launcher to make it very simple. So here you go. We will click OK for a few seconds. Now it comes to wallpaper. We can select. Now by default, there are some wallpapers that is already included in the Google itself or on this box using this launcher itself and you can select whichever one you want but we went to get some live wallpaper so we select and here's the one that we have installed it takes a couple of seconds for it to load and once it comes up this is it so it's set up now we can click set and we have to go back to it yes it always kicks you out so there you go now it looks beautiful you can leave this forever believe me this is really awesome so i usually leave it like this and you can see that it moves a little bit too and yes you can move the tree now but yes there are some 
little animals running in the bottom and also this night sky everything looks beautiful and there are sometimes wind comes through you can see that it moves leaves falls there are some little birds on the top that you can make them go around and that way it looks beautiful so you have more interaction playing with this than the other wallpapers but that's why this is really sticking out for me that's not the only thing you can make these to be smaller or bigger by just pressing ok we go to settings and then there will be some parts for app drawer right there this is for the bottom and now we will be able to make this to go from six to seven or eight icons there press ok and now that part is set up same thing with icons you can leave them on or you can leave them off and also the size how small you want the font to be and also the size of the actual icon you have an access right over here that you can make it smaller or bigger now usually most of them are going to be accessible by pro version but this is default we will leave it as is we will press back and there are some more spots that you can play with something like app drawer you can see that this is vertical list or horizontal we're going to leave it as is and you can go to the search bar it says there is should be a search bar and we're going to say that leave it there and also frequent ask tips you can leave all of them alone and you can play with it this is a really cool app to play with this launcher itself but yes once you press home it takes you to main app itself but this is so nice to play with so this is one launcher but we're not done yet we're going to press home and the second one that we installed called ATV launcher this is very generic very nice very calm and you do not need to do much in there since you already set up that background it is going to be animated and yes you can take advantage of this everything is set up nicely you have your date and time on the top you have your connections if you're LAN connected or wi-fi bluetooth is on you can see there up there too that is really nice to play with and you can also bring some widgets over here you just have to click on it for a couple of seconds and click the OK button for a couple of seconds and you will be presented with this little menu on the side. Now the best part is that it says widget menus. You can pick a widget and you can select it and that way you can bring something in the front. For me, I want to bring the search and we will say create and it's there now. So beautiful. And again, if you don't need it, just click on it for a couple of seconds and you can remove it very easily. There you go. And now it's removed. Another good thing is that if you click on it for a couple of seconds and you want to go to launcher settings, there are a bunch of things that you can play with. Something like widget, applications. Yes, you can show, but you need to buy the pro version. It's not expensive. It's about $4. And go into wallpaper. You can change the wallpaper from live to different ones. But since we have downloaded this, we're going to leave that alone. And that's about it. Now going back to main screen and click on on OK. Android settings there too, so this way you can play with your Wi-Fi settings and everything, so you have full access. Now, if I press home, it takes me back to regular <laughs> launcher for the Buzz TV. But if I have to go back into it, you can see that right here, and I have to go to ATV launcher, beautifully everything shows up in the bottom. And also I like that little background changes that it brings out, it really pops the actual player and this way it looks awesome so these are the two launchers that i have been playing with lately and i really like it and i thought i should bring it out to you in 2021 almost end of 2021 so you guys can play with it and that way you can take advantage of any boxes that you have with this type of launchers so this way you're going to like your box more and you're going to make it your own so you have more access again both of these launchers atv launcher and also the nova launcher both of them do have pro version and yes you can purchase it but for the meantime they do have this available as a regular free version it has a lot of features even with the free version i know you're going to like it the links will be available where you can order your air mouses from and more if you have questions don't worry drop them at the bottom of the video we'll have to help you out this up except that this was our take on launchers i hope you like it and make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.